Hi everyone and welcome back to WBEL. What's better than a very small map to determine who's going to clinch the playoffs? <laughs> Alright, so for the standings for the Enthusiast Division, week 8, so we have Jesus with 6 points, Esbar with 4 points, GB and Isart and Shadow91 also with 4 points, we have Chize, Sen Rooster, Ram9 with 3 points, and finally we have Ituman PR and K Sound with 2 points. So let's not wait anymore and let's see who's going to clinch the playoffs. Alright, so here we have Isvar against GB79. So on Isvar's side we have Golbez, Valet and Non-Broken Elena. On GB's side we have Cherries, Marielle and Jaden. So let's see how it went. Alright, I told Numero that I gotta start this one off because I am just way too hyped to see this Golbez. I am so... Wait, no! <laughs> okay, I was joking with Numero before Not the match one shot. I was like, please don't, don't, don't die in the beginning. <laughs> Let him do something. <laughs> Oh no, please, Cherise. Let me see them. Let me see. Don't. Okay. Yes! Okay. We guys are gonna see a cast. <laughs> I'm not rooting against you, JB. I just, I just really gonna see this gold vest. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not even commenting on the match. I'm just talking about gold vest. Anyways, yes. Oh, <laughs> Summer Hell in the LB. Massive after the upgrade. Area attack down. And good damage against a uh, magic tank. Uh, you think it's good, good damage? I, I don't know. It's not much. Not on this It's map. not much! You, yes. you don't have time to uh, slowly uh, <laughs> deplete the tank. <laughs> <laughs> Mind crusher. Oh, oh. Golbez is still alive! <laughs> I think Living he, with the dream. His buff is on the first three turns, I think. Oh, and massive damage coming from that cherries. You see, that's damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's damage too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, against a tank, alright? It's good damage against a tank. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> Man. Yeah, it was it was a good good try. Uh, like I said, that Golpez, I was honestly surprised by how tanky he is. I know that he was kind of sold as like the magic uh, damage dealer slash tank. Mm -hmm. uh, but every time I get to see him, he just kind of folds pretty much instantly. Uh, so getting to see him survive both shots from Jaden and Sharice was pretty impressive. But ultimately, like I said, JB's team. Uh, it was a really great idea for the Muriel to be way away from the from the archers, yeah. and uh, you know, if if they had gotten caught up in that summer hell in the LB, like I said, it it didn't do a whole lot of damage on the Muriel, but I guarantee it would have one shot or gotten close to one shotting the ranged units. So very good idea putting the tank away, and I mean, great damage, great team placement. What else can you say? It's it was a solid showing from JB79. Yeah, that was a great uh, initial strategy. Uh, also, I think it, that it was the right map for Golbez because of his passive. Uh, unfortunately for him, uh, he, he didn't have time to do much because he's a tad too slow. But uh, <laughs> that was very, very interesting to see. Uh, I think that uh, GB liked it because they, <laughs> they talked in the brawl room for quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> That was that was awesome. All right, so, so. GG to both players and congratulations to uh, GB79. Yep, GG to both players. All right, so here we have Kason against Shadow91. So on Kason's side we have Muraga, Revelka, and Vika. On Shadow's side we have Uni, Eliza, and Phyllis. So let's see <laughs> how it went. <laughs> I don't think it's a right map for Phyllis. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's gonna be hard. Eliza. Oh. oh. Oh, that's good. So they have all uh, JDT down and CT down. Oh, but they are able to go again right off the bat. Okay, uh, so big damage coming from that Moranga. Still not able to kill that uh, Eliza. Uh, so Viga doesn't have the range, so that's big. Next we have Rivalka. So, all right. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> so killing that uh, Eliza, but it was uh, to be anticipated. And now we have uh, Uni as a carry. <laughs> <laughs> Go Uni! Well, <laughs> Bellis actually might do some damage against this Moraga since he's a physical tank. Let's, yeah. let's see how much damage he can do. But there's Rivalka on the other side. <laughs> oh, nearly oh. killing her! Oh no. Okay, that, so that big. So Moraga doesn't have AP, now you have. Oh, Uni going next, so uh, what is this that VP is going to do? So not much damage on that uh, Moraga. So uh, Viga, not much damage on that Oh, he's pretty tanky. Yeah. Let's see how he does against fire. 
<laughs> not, not as good. Not as good. <laughs> so Yunu, can she do it? <laughs> you need the carry. Oh, and missing oh. that Mura again. So we have uh, an evasive uh, axe comp again coming from Kate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, like I said, it, it, it might not be an intentional thing, but that, that new VC gives that little bit of, a, uh, of uh, evasion there that just... It just always throws in that little wild card, you know. It's like you never know if your next hit's gonna land because you're not preparing for evasion. Yeah. Uh, because yeah, uni, was... uni is very, very accurate. Uh, so the fact that he miss uh, for me, it's big. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, it's 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 pretty big. I was actually and because Vela's, I'm trying to think of all the hits that landed because uh, on Eliza's initial hit, at least one unit I did see a miss. I'm not sure if it missed two or just one, but I did see one unit dodge and then Velus used his move which is a guaranteed hit so yeah it might have just been uh, it might have been a very highly evasive axe team uh but yeah it was it was crazy to get to watch all that because i, I saw that the revelka because i was you know expecting the triple axe team but i didn't expect that revelka flex but that was really smart seeing shadow bring two ice units uh i mean Kason must have anticipated that that or, or he, you know, just didn't really like the third axe unit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I, I mean, I thought it was, uh, as always, very well played uh, on both sides. I thought the uni, uh, to, I think uni on this map is massive because he can pretty much reach the entire side from yep. wherever you place him and prevent any sort of quicken or haste shenanigans. And that's, I mean, I think that's big on this map. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. it's just real, well played. <laughs> You can also uh, put Uni on the side and uh, let him uh, tank uh, just a bit, like uh, absorbing few hits that would have been on the, uh, the DPS otherwise. Yeah, especially if you only have him in there for the arrow fall. Just let him use his arrow fall and yep. then take a couple of hits. Yeah. <laughs> Job's done. <laughs> Job's done. <laughs> Once again, another impressive showing from Kason bringing out the Axe team. Yeah. That that team has uh, been doing very well, and I wasn't a believer. I, I thought I was a, kind of a meme, but. It's, it's been putting in the work. I use Muraga a ton since his launch, and I was using him mostly at the first with uh, your Zazan and Kiton and Otto, and he was evading quite some hits. Honestly, uh, he's already pretty evading. He has, uh, I think, uh, a lot of luck, so uh, we'll see more hits coming from him um, in the future. I'm really happy that uh, Kason is not on my division. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Chise. <laughs> So uh, GG to both players and congratulations to uh, Kaysan. Yep, GG to both players. Alright, so here we have Chize against Ice Art. So on Chize's side we have uh, Elena, Garval and Murmur. On Ice Art's side we have Kedia, Alaya and Rafael. So let's see how it went. So who's All the right. quickest? <laughs> Garval <laughs> or Rafael? It's Rafael. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Unfortunately, I built my team for speed, and she still outsped me. Oh. And this was probably the main, like, one of the big reasons why this match just was so hard for me to win. Yeah, and she was able to tank that huge hit. That's really huge. So now we have Bella Yako going next. Barrage hitting them all, killing that murmur. Oh, and now we have yeah. Kaya probably hitting yeah, look that at Rafael. the turns. Look at the oh, turns. she's so damn fast! <laughs> so fast! I, I was like, how? My units were built to like 120 agility, so I was just floored. <laughs> <laughs> I had, I had no words. <laughs> you got flooded so. by hits. <laughs> yeah, I had nothing. I, like I said, I don't know what else I could do. I was at 120 agility. <laughs> 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 at least he gets one last hit in. <laughs> Some revenge on that Alaya, but <laughs> yeah, that uh, that's good for and, your plus and, minus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. But uh, yeah, I don't know. You, uh, you might still pull it. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, I could, I could pull it. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe with another uh, turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I had another turn, she was done for. I swear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, unfortunately, that extra turn. Uh, Never came. <laughs> yeah, and two disables. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Both the disables landing, and I th and I mean they both have 97 fate, so it's not that surprising. But I, I did have disabled trust stones on too, so I was like, I ha that was the thing that was even more surprising is that it was one of the teams that I had actually predicted, 
And so I had ice resist trust stones, I oh. had disable trust stones, and I had frost uh, frostbite trust stones. Even though they have plenty of AP, I was like, I'm not going to get cheesed out by frostbite. <laughs> so even though I prepared very, I thought I prepared very well and had like really high agility, I mean, I just got better playered. You know, Ice Heart just absolutely dominated and uh, completely took that match. Yeah, she's on a roll. <laughs> oh yeah, she's on a complete tear right now. <laughs> I don't think she's lost a match in the last like five weeks. It's nope. it's incredible. Yeah, that that's that's wild. So, it, it definitely like one. I don't feel bad losing to a guildy, and two, I don't feel bad losing to as good of a player as she is. So, yeah, that was very well played. Um, I thought my initial rotation was going to be pretty good, especially with my units being so quick, uh, because both uh, Helena and Garvel start off with the physical barrier. So that would have been huge if they could get their buffs off, but the initial damage made it so that A, Helena used a heal instead of her barrier, and Garvel went straight for the attack. So it it was just uh, a perfect storm <laughs> in terms of uh, kind of what could go wrong on my end. Yeah, Isart is such a good player. If she wants to win, she'll win. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about right. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I have to uh, give the key of the match to that uh, Rafa uh, thinking that first hit from Garvel. Honestly, if, if you were able to kill her right off the bat, I think that the, the game was done. But like, yeah, uh, <laughs> that, that thing was just so well built. Oh, yeah, that was that was very surprising. That uh, So, yeah, I, I could see that being the key of the match. Uh, but, you know, of course, for me, uh, knowing how my rotation and stuff went, I got to say the key of the match was just the Raphael's speed and her being able to get in there. Not only get into range for me to deal damage to her, to disrupt my buffing, but also to deal damage uh, enough that uh, Eliza could follow up and kill the Murmur, which she didn't get to do anything. <laughs> and also so that uh, Helena used her heal back instead of her physical barrier. So that, that initial, t that first turn pretty much threw off my entire rest of the match. All right, so GG to both players and congratulations to Iceheart. Oh, uh, yep, congratulations to Iceheart and uh, GG to you. Me? <laughs> no, <laughs> Iceheart. Oh. <laughs> you already got your GGs, man. Don't be greedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> All right, so here we have Rem9 against Jesus. So on Rem 9 side we have Sergius, Velney and Alphonse. On Jesus side we have Ferris, Murmur and <laughs> Sid Orlando. So <laughs> let's see how it went. Okay, so Ferris the quickest. So Captain's Protection, alright. So Slash Resist to all. Next we have Sid. So we have uh, Area Resist Up and AP Recovery. Next we have Velney, Night on Oh! oh, oh what? <laughs> what? <laughs> So okay. killing that Orlando uh, right off the bat, alright, so it's so just uh, ace and going forward. Next we have Alphonse, so Izumi stands, so he's going to beat uh, Martin Key and hit harder. Next we have Murmur, uh, I hope she's packing a punch. So uh, Stonaga. Yeah, that's the big champ. And she is, oh, okay, so uh, Sir just, uh, uh, just with enough AP, uh, HP, sorry. Oh. So, oh, massive damage on that Ferris on estate, so it's really more than expected. Yeah. So next, uh, okay, Parrot on Slug, so some uh, heal pack. Uh, oof, the Velne is a lightning unit, so uh, <laughs> I think that the uh, Ferris is the <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <See what? laughs> okay, so wow. uh, I, I said beforehand that uh, Alphonse, uh, that uh, Ram 9 was banking in all on Alphonse, but no, it was Velne all along. <laughs> yeah! But Murmur can still put it off. Yeah. Um, and she won't. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, she sits still. Maybe she'll get another chance. With a big but... barrier. <laughs> yeah, so but her Alphonse. turn's not coming out at all. And she, if she's slow... Oh, no, okay. Uh, yes. She's yeah, slow. she's slow. <laughs> no, that's... Her turn she... wasn't even on there to begin with. Now it's never coming. <laughs> she, she's one of the slowest characters in the game, so now uh, she, she won't uh, have a turn. In the yeah, next century. Yeah. yeah, that might as well have been stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that Velne, wow. <laughs> that was yeah. so impressive. Like, okay, I, at first I was like, okay, well, I mean, maybe it's not that impressive since, you know, Jesus didn't get to get all of his, you know, get defensive buffs off. Yeah. 
but Velda didn't get to get offensive buffs off either. So, yeah. you know, it was just, you know, turn one, Nighthawk onto Orlando cap damage, and then Nighthawk onto Ferris cap damage. I, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was crazy. I never have seen her. Honestly, I've never really seen her at all. And then the times I have seen her, I've never seen her do well. <laughs> so no, that was really. a lot. That was aggressive. Yeah, yeah. And now I really have to do my selection selection quest. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> I've, been, <laughs> I've been super slacking, but that was that was probably the motivation I needed. <laughs> Damn you, run mine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Like I said, I was actually very um, glad to see the uh, strategy coming out from Jesus. That was actually something I was talking with Numero before the match about because I was like, I I would not like it to see the Bart's uni comp here. It feels like way too small of a map. Uni's way too slow of a unit. I, you know, it, it would not have, and Sephiroth Murmur would have been interesting. Uh, that was the other comp I had uh, thought about, yeah. but I'm really happy to see the Ferris come out. Like, especially, like, right now. I mean, Jesus is, like, he's locked in the top slot. He's able to experiment a little bit. <laughs> uh, so getting to see the Ferris come out and the Orlando. I'm always a big fan of Orlando, so uh, seeing that comp was, was really fun to see. Yeah, that was a tough matchup uh, with uh, the big tier one uh, Ferris against uh, nearly all uh, lightning. Yeah, you have the big lightning tank and then uh, apparently the massive lightning DPS in <laughs> Velma. <laughs> oh, all right. So uh, GG to all players and uh, congratulations to Remnant. Yep, GG to both players. All right. So here we have Itaman PR against Sun Rooster. So on Itaman's side, we have Bradley, Miranda, and Sergis. On Sun Rooster's side, we have Adelard, Delita, and Elena. So let's see how it went. So let's see who's the quickest. So it's Elena. So probably a Courage buff. Yes. So I can receive up two going forward. Next, we have Bradley. Is he in range? No, Courage two. So he's going to go forward. So next, we have Miranda. So was is she going to cast? Uh, Probably a quick in or a ace. Next we have Sir Jess, so Kim Blade, so CD up to all the party. Uh, are they going to lap? No, okay, so Delita is going to go first. Rift Ally, so plenty of AP now. Now let's see what uh, sh she was casting. So it was quick in. <laughs> Unfortunately, oh, it's, on <laughs> it's on the Surges. So Surges is going forward, leaping assault, and this Ooh. is a very evasive team from Sand Rooster. And now let's see if Adelard is able to hit. Yes, of course, as all killing Oof. that surges in one go. Next Rush. we have Bradley, so moment of truth. Calculated Ren. E. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so it's looking very bad for that Sun Rooster because we have Re Miranda, but uh, for some reason, she's not able to hit that Elena. I thought that Jamin Trust uh, had a better range, but it seems like not. Okay, so next we have Elena. Okay, uh, big thing. Bradley wasn't able to hit that Elena, so he's that Elena is so evasive that uh, even Bradley is not able to hit her. So let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that confirms it. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like right now Miranda's kind of the only hope, and right now she's just casting quick and on Bradley. But hopefully, it looks like she should be in range now after this attack. So uh, if Bradley doesn't get a chance to hit now. Which it does not look like he is. He's tanking up right now. He's playing the. He's using courage to just tank up all the hits to rip, get uh, pave the way for Miranda right now. Okay, uh, I think that Itaman turned off that jamming trust. I, I think so too because she definitely was in range to be able to use it that turn. Yeah, it's been like and two or three turns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, oh no, this this is this is not good. He absolutely uh, not anticipated an evasion team. He turned off that jamming trust, and now he's done because of this. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, I mean, does she have any other? Uh, maybe the, is there a buff that she put on in the beginning? No, it, it probably would have ran out by now. So if she's not able to hit now. I don't know what she can. Okay, slow. Oh, slow doesn't really matter too much. Nope. I mean. If Miranda can somehow land a hit, maybe she can play for turns. I, I don't know. This is this is really rough. Jamming thrust was was definitely needed here. You see, rough is polite. I would have said pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, oh my gosh, the 84 HP. <laughs> Should give her a little bit of hope, but I, yeah, I don't really know what else. And Unless here... she has like a stop or sleep or something in her kit right now. Yeah, I she... really don't. Sleep would Immobilized? Nice. Yeah, I don't think immobilized does so it. So she's immobilized, but she, she'll be able to evade anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which doesn't make any sense to me. Immobilize should reduce your evasion to zero. <laughs> but yes, she's slowed, she's immobilized, but it, I mean, it, oh, it doesn't man. matter because she can evade everything. And there goes this playoff chances. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. What a. That's rough. I mean, like I said, it's unfortunate because I, I can see the strategy. I can see not wanting him to be in range to use Jamming Thrust to make sure he can get the quickens off on Bradley. But it, like I said, it's just unfortunate that San Rooster brought an evasion team. And that was his one chance to be able to hit this Elena. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and there's there's the turns. One one turn left, and there there we go. <laughs> oh man. That, like I said, when I saw Sanders' choice of an evasion team against Bradley, I was a little curious because Bradley does have the increase hit up move, and so. I yeah. and, and you know man also has the flag Glaciella on his team so it was a, a very strange choice coming out from San Rooster but I mean who am I to like argue with success it obviously worked out for him and it it it, it paid off in, in spades so yeah uh, <laughs> I think that it was really crazy to go with that formation even though like you said that he has uh, Bradley and uh, Glaciella in his formation but on Interman's side, he didn't put any Alex ring on Bradley, clearly. Uh, probably didn't went with Odin, and <laughs> he turned off that uh, Jamin Trust on that Miranda, so... I mean, to be fair, if I was threatening Flag Glaciella and Bradley <laughs> and Miranda, I don't know if I would be putting uh, extra accuracy on either. <laughs> but yeah, it, it definitely... Uh... Hindsight would have been great to have a little bit of extra accuracy on the Bradley, especially we got to see the damage he was able to deal. He one shot the Adelard and the Delita, which you know isn't the most surprising thing, but you know, I de he definitely would have been able to at least two tap the Elena. So it a little bit of accuracy would have gone a long way. Well, uh, respect to Sun Rooster, uh, <laughs> GG to both players, and uh, congratulations to uh, Sun Rooster. Yep, GG to both players. All right, so this was a really, really crazy week. Um, Kason, in your next tournament, I know that people are complaining about those maps, but please <laughs> keep those weird maps in, in this <laughs> kind of tournaments. It's really funny, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone is at a disadvantage, so it's their problem. <laughs> yep, it, it's, it's honestly pretty refreshing. You gotta come up with really different new strategies for each map, and sometimes they're just... I mean, sometimes the strategies might not be the most fun, but at least they're interesting, they can give different edges to different team comps. Yes, and we are all equals in misery. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in first place we still have Jesus with 6 points, we have a GB and Isart with 5 points, and uh, here's the tough uh, the spot. So we have Isvar, Sun Rooster, and Ram9, and Shadow91 with 4 points, Chise and Kaysan uh, still with 3 points. So uh, here's the situation. So next week, we have Rem9 against Isart and Chise against Shadow. So if Rem9 loses against Isart, who is on a roll, and Chise beats Shadows, he gets into the playoff instead of Rem9. But <laughs> if uh, any of those two wins, Chise is out of the playoff. And uh, for <laughs> Kaysan, uh, so Kaysan is going against Itoman PR. So. Uh, on his side, I don't know who he beat in the, the standing, so I, I think that for Kaysan and Chizit, they still have a chance, but Itoman, you're out. Yeah, unfortunately. Good luck, man. I, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need it. I'm going to need all the luck in the world, because like I said, i got to beat Shadow, who's definitely a very formidable opponent, and I need Ram9 to lose, who's also an amazing player. I mean, I'm not liking my odds, but I'm going to play to him. You know, I'm going to try my best and prep as hard as I can for this week, so... Get ready, Shadow. <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that you help uh, a certain someone prep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, with Iceheart being a guildie, that also helps. But <laughs> honestly, like I said, uh, you know, Iceheart's a guildie, great person, and Ram9, love talking with the guy, absolutely wonderful person. I'm not going to be too salty if, uh, you know, matter who wins. Because Iceheart, like, that's one thing, too. I think Jesus, JB, and Iceheart 
are all guaranteed in the playoffs, I think. I have to double check that, but I'm, I'm, yeah, it pretty much has to be. Yeah, so even if Iceheart ends up losing, she's still in the playoffs. So <laughs> I don't, like I said, I'm going to try my best. All I can really manage is my match with Shadow, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Yeah, me too. All right, so thank you, everyone. Thanks for viewing, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> see you next week. And please uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment. on side we have Meringa Meringa <laughs> Meringa <laughs> okay, sorry <laughs> sorry that was heartbreaking <laughs> oh, I can't believe he dropped this <laughs> oh, he literally yeah. en ended over that win and like take it then. Oh, like I said it I don't think it was a, a, a bad strategy. I just... It's just a bad just... player. <laughs> no, no, I <I'm> shut up. <laughs>